Houston, I'm pulling out of you. <laughs> What is up, Cupcakes? How are we doing? We are in Orlando. It is Wednesday, it's the next day. Landed last night, just uh, kind of had a drink at the bar, and now we are in Orlando. And I'm getting ready to head over to the ISA Sign Expo. Let's go jump on the shuttle and head on over to the expo. We're gonna go talk to these guys at Action Lighting. This is a product that I've been looking for and these guys sell it. So we're gonna go talk to them right now and uh, and, and, and check it out. We're over here at the hey, Action going, Lighting booth. What's happening guys? It's action Lighting. Awesome man. <laughs> Doing out there. Let me tell you about some of our products. First I want to let you know Action Lighting's been in business for over 38 years. Today at the ISA show we're showing a bunch of different products. We got our wonderful flexible neon products. These have great potential in your signs. You can have really tight bends on them. The 12 volt cuts easily at all of these black cut marks. This product over here is our 110 volt. This stuff comes in a 147 foot roll and is a great product. It has a 19 inch cut mark. Also, we're really known for doing custom raceways and chasing borders. This is our five wire belt light. We sell in a 100 foot and 20 foot roll and four and six inch spacing. We also make these custom channels with any type of sockets to order. You can buy all of these parts to make your own signs, or you can call us and ask them to do, ask us to do custom raceways also. Very if you need cool. to get a hold of us, give us a call, 406-586-5105. Now we're going from something that everybody can afford to something that probably none of us can afford, but it's very cool. So we are over here at the Bitech booth and that white room behind me is like a five kilowatt fiber laser. Um, I think they said it can cut up to an inch thick metal like stainless, I believe. So these guys do have smaller units as well. This guy right here, but check this out. So this entire bed pulls out of this. So this, thing, this whole thing will roll out. This is the size of this thing. Like, look at this. It's a beast. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a three kilowatt fiber laser. So they got the big screen up here, so they put the monitor from the inside. What's what's the beam size on that? Three micron. Like 40, wow. 40 micron. 40 micron. 40 micron. 40 micron. Jesus. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry about that. Insane. Okay. I just, uh, I was just, you know, you gotta tap it out to well, even. Well, we can go down to 20 actually if you really want to, but then that's when you have to worry about tapping it out. If you're doing a real, real big game material, you right. can tap it 20, but then you're tapping it. Wow. It's like, it's insane. It's like, like, I could live in here. But they just cut out. It's a little, still a little warm. Check that out. Twenty-eight seconds. Twenty-eight seconds. It's crazy. Of course, I think this thing is also the, the uh, close to the price of my house. But uh, very cool technology. So there's a ton of stuff that you guys are gonna see here that I'm not particularly into because this is a sign making convention. But like these huge printers. Things are insane. There's one over there. We'll walk by it in a second. The thing is, that, like, it's it's got to be 30 foot long. A lot of neon. Well, actually, a lot of LEDs. A lot of insane lighting. Wow. The camera corrects it. It's uh, it's this is super bright. Look at how bright it, I'm I'm getting while I'm walking next to this thing. Crazy. Uh, but let's uh let's check out some more uh, stuff that you guys are probably a little bit more interested in. But first, coffee. All right, we're fueled and fired, and uh, we're going to Laguna. How you doing? Some lady just thought I was pointing the camera at her, so she, she waved. But point at me, baby. Here at the Laguna booth, it is super loud because they're running CNC's. And I didn't know this, that Laguna is in the laser game. So they have a, uh, they have one of their, their lasers right here.
All right, the Laguna guys are busy, so we're coming over to Epson. Yesterday I posted a picture of this t-shirt printer and you guys seem really interested in it, so we're gonna take a look at it and find out exactly what it is, because I don't know. All right, guys, we're at the Epson booth and I'm here with Lily and she's gonna talk. You guys had had a bunch of questions about the machine behind me, so she's gonna fill us in. Hi, everyone. I am so happy to introduce to you this entry-level DTG, or direct-to-garment printer. It is the Sure Color F1070. So what's so exciting about this is not only the price point, but this is great for anyone who's looking to get into direct-to-garment printing. List price, MSRP is $7,495, which is pretty much unheard of. Uh, it is a CMYK plus white ink printer. So what does that mean? You can print on white shirts, you can print on black shirts, and everything in between. Everything is all nice and enclosed. Great for a home-based business. Everything is all done inside. So what we've done is we've taken the all the features and functionalities of our other DTG printers and distilled it down into this printer. So you're getting the high quality prints. We consider this the smaller, slower sibling to our F2270, which is the workhorse. Same print quality. You load the shirt in here. Very, very minimal maintenance. Now, here's another thing, more bang for the buck. If you do not want to print directly onto a t-shirt, you can lay a film and do direct transfer film as well. You can choose that in your software, in the software that comes with it, Garment Creator 2, if you're printing onto a t-shirt or a film, you load in your graphics and it'll automatically do what it needs to do. Very cool. Thanks, Lily. Appreciate it. Okay, look at the size of this machine. This is not the biggest one here. You won't print it. That's printer. It's craziness. How you doing, guys? Today we're demonstrating this Protex BD400. This is a 120 watt CO2 model. We use a ceramic core tube. We give you super high speeds and very accurate precision. This machine peaks at about 170 inches per second. Today we're going to be cutting some leatherette, doing an engraving followed by a cutout. And these patches are actually going to get heat pressed onto a hat to make it a nice piece of apparel. Once that's set, I take my artwork and I can now drag and drop exactly to where I'm positioned on the bed. And if we want to do a couple, we can copy and paste them. Select my settings from the material menu and we are ready to go. That's right. So how fast is that running right now? Right now we're moving at a full 170 inches per second. So everything, everything kind of gets a little bit of love and a bit of a uh, rehashing to it. We're always doing R&D to make sure our machines are as efficient as possible. The 400 has the new lid top camera as well as the built-in onboard computer. So with this, I can just plug this into my network. It becomes accessible from any computer on the same network. I can have multiple users in the software doing designs, critiquing, prepping work. And then the operator comes up, hits start, and we're good to go. All right, Jason, thanks, man. I appreciate it. No problem. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Take it easy. So I'm sitting here at the Eagle booth. I didn't know they have, like, smaller machines. So I didn't know they made these units. Like, they even have, a, like, a small one right here. Check that out. So Rich, the Louisiana hobby guy, is also doing interviews today. So he's kind of talking to the Eagle rep. If you're interested in uh, hearing more about Eagle, you want to go ahead and head over to his page. Once he puts a video up, I will link it down below. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back over here to talk to this guy, and Rich will probably ask better questions. So there's that. <laughs> So in other news that is out of my tax bracket, but it's very cool, check this out. We are at Kern Laser Systems, and this is a big beast of a fiber laser. Look at this. Ooh. Now, it's no, it's, it's no Vitek, but I mean, it's probably more affordable too. Um, and then they have the large scale flatbed CO2s. All right, guys, I am at Kern Laser Systems, and I'm here with Josh, and Josh is gonna tell us a little bit doing, about guys? this monstrosity right here. Look at this. Okay, Woo. so this is our OptiFlex model. 
which is going to be our, our flagship system. This one can do lots of different things depending on the wattage laser we put on it. We make our own CO2 lasers for our systems right in Minnesota. So we make them from 100 watt all the way up to 500 watts. So with our systems, we can cut woods, acrylics, do all of the, all of the various engravings with the fine detail. But the, then what really sets us apart is we can also cut metals with the same exact laser. It's the same CO2 laser, it's not a fiber laser, it's a CO2 laser that can cut, like I said, woods, acrylics, but then we switch over the head and we're cutting our thin, thin metals. So with our 500 watt laser, you know, we can cut 3 16 mild steel. Um, this would be our 300 watt laser. And then even with our 150 watt laser, we can still cut 90 thou mild steel. Um, we can also cut your thin stainless, thin aluminums, things like that. But um, it's, it's, it's all depending on the wattage laser you want. So, so this bed setup is a 52 by 100 inch working table. So a little over a four by eight setup. We also make them smaller than this and we make them larger than this. This is our most common selling system. Um, we make them all the way up to 86 by 144 oh, wow. inches. Yep, so very large. Um, they're made for high production. So it's not, not gonna be a system for doing one little thing. It's gonna be for doing 10,000 of these on the same machine. So for high production. Right. And then what were you telling me about if you ever have a problem with the laser? So, so our CO2 lasers, we put a three year advanced replacement warranty on them. So if you ever have a problem with that in the three years, we actually ship you a new laser. And then if you can see on the back here, there's one bolt on this side and two bolts on the other side. All you have to do is put the laser on there and ship us back your old one. Um, that way you're back up and running within a matter of days versus waiting for a laser to get fixed. And what kind of tube is it? So it's a, it's a sealed metal tube CO2 laser. Very cool, very cool. And where can we find it? Uh, right in Minnesota. We're actually in northern Minnesota and we've been in business over 40 years. Very cool. All right, I appreciate it. Hey, absolutely. Thank you. Right, and we're at the Epilogue booth right here. So, Epilogue, uh, they, uh, everything has to go through their marketing department, so I couldn't, I couldn't get the guy on camera, but uh, they're, they're, they, I didn't realize they manufacture everything in house. So they manufacture their own tubes, their their own RF tubes. Um, they've added cameras to their machines, and uh, and they're they're pretty spicy. They're pretty quick, uh, which is kind of funny because they just they haven't updated the way the outside looks. So I didn't realize they they done what they had done. I forgot to eat again, so I uh, just went and crammed a sandwich in my face. Whole bar cart, and then we will look and evaluate what it sticks down, and then we don't want any um, knots two inches past two inches. So then you don't ruin your your art piece. So so we go through it. We learned that because that's what we do. You know, we we've ruined a lot. You know, upset customers because of, because of that. So 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 anyway. And if you want special cuts, we do special cuts, longer cuts. Just gotta call us. We'll take care of it. Oh yeah. Rich was talking about this last night. Uh, this guy's booth. So he's got all of these live edge pieces that are already sanded down and ready for laser engraving. Very cool stuff. And you gotta love their calling card.